In the category form, the speeches address the shape of the body of burly or paunchy characters. Although, currently, the concept of obesity does not refer to the shape of the body, this variable can be considered as one of the conceptual precursors of obesity. In addition, there is a research that correlates the amount of body fat to the waist-to-hip ratio, for example. The historicity of social representations maintained the average number of occurrences with this type of central nucleus in the analyzed period. In the 10 stretches found in the film sample analyzed, in 4 stretches, a comic gag was made related to the entrapment of the body somewhere. In 4 others, there was only one gesture in which a character with a large abdominal circumference was referenced through this characteristic. And, in two excerpts, there was a kind of incorporation, in which three thin people joined to become a corpulent. Five excerpts were selected to represent this thematic category. In the first two, from the films by Georges Bewley's, Tom Whiskey, from 1900, and Lomnibus de Tokes, from 1901, the same idea is exposed three thin people form a corpulent. In this first short film, this kind of incorporation is by magic, in which Muleys himself plays the role of an illusionist. After the trick, the magician laughs, gestures the body form of the transformed woman. While in the second, the characters are incorporated into the others by climbing on their backs. In the third and fourth excerpts, from Charlie Chaplin's films, His Friend the Bandit, from 1914, and The Rink, from 1916, the clown sought to generate comedy through the lack of accessibility of the furniture. In both cases, Chaplin plays the role of a service provider, barber or waiter, respectively, and removes the arms from the chair when realizing that the furniture will not allow the customer to sit. In the last section, from Harold Lloyd's 1920s Haunted Spooks, a butler can't get through the door because of his waist circumference. He snaps, happening what Chaplin avoided, but manages to force the passage aside. Right after that, in contrast to the burly man, reinforcing the desired comic effect, a second, thin and short butler passes easily through the door.